Hello class. Today for math we are going to continue looking at division, um, but today we're going to be dividing two digit numbers by one digit numbers, and we're going to be using place value discs again. Um, but we're, what's going to be special about today is we're going to be regrouping in the tens. So we're going to be changing the ten number in the ten spot into ones, and we're going to start off with what we've been working on. And we're going to look at this number here, three ones divided by two. Now, how? what's the whole? Well, it's three, right? And it's split up into how many ways? It's split up in two ways. So you're going to make a place value chart. You have tens and ones. Um... So to split it up, we're splitting it up two ways. Remember, we're drawing that and that. How many ones do we have? Three ones. So one, two, three. We're going to split it up as equally as we can. How many ones do we have? One there. One there. Cross them off. And we have one remainder. So three ones divided by two is going to be one one here one one remainder one or if we do the division the long division steps we have two there was oh sorry i got a little ahead of myself there didn't i three Let's split up there's one in there three minus two is one one remainder one and remember, as always, you can check your work with multipl with multiplication because mul division is the opposite of multiplication. So two, two times one is two, plus one, which is the remainder, gives us three. So our quotient is three. That's what, or our product is three. Our quotient is one, remain with the remainder one. Now we're gonna look at the tens here a number in a, with a, a number with a number in the tens spot but we're going to be regrouping the tens into ones on our place value chart so once again we're going to look at our whole here which is what 310 which is the same as 30 right divided by two divided in two ways so you're going to make your place value chart tens and ones Okay, and how many tens are there? Three tens, the same as 30. And there are no ones at the moment. And we're splitting it up. We're dividing it by two. We're dividing it into two ways. Okay, so let's divide it up. We got one ten here, one ten here. Oh, I've got one ten left over. I can't split it up anymore. So what do I do? What does that become? Well, then that becomes ten ones, right? If I have one ten, that's the same as ten ones. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and then you can just evenly distribute one and one two and two three and three four and four and five and five no remainder here guys so what is our quotient 110 because there's 110 here 110 and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ones. Or 15, right? 30 divided by 2 is 15. Those of us that are fluent in our math facts should probably know that. 15 plus 15 is 30. So let's check out the standard algorithm. 2 goes into 3 one time. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. Drop the zero, 
two goes into ten. There are five, <coughs> excuse me, there are five twos in ten. Oh, I put a plus sign there. Five times two is ten. That's zero. Our quotient is 15. And as always, check your work for division. 15 times 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 1 is 1. Plus 2 is 3. Bam. Okay. So we're going to look at some more. Because that's what we do. We practice. Practice makes perfect. We have here four ones divided by three. How is that going to look? Well, we'll get our place value chart. Tens, ones, and it's split up how many ways? Three ways. So we're going to go one, two, three. There are no tens, but there are four ones. Three, four. And we're going to divide it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh-oh, we've got a remainder of one. So over here we've got one, one. With a remainder of one. Three divided by four. Three goes into four. One time. There's one, three. Or four split up three ways. One time. Four minus three is one. One remainder one. Check our work by three times one is three, plus our remainder, which is one, is four. Now we're going to look at four tens to ones divided by three. As we've been doing. Okay, so split up three ways. We're going to go one, two, three. All right, four tens, so we will have one, two, three, four. Two ones, one, two. And now we just start dividing it. I can put one ten here, one ten here. One ten here. Uh oh. I do not have any room for this last ten. So what do I need to do? I need to exchange it, regroup it. So one ten is the same as ten ones, two, three, four, five. So just like the previous problem, I'm gonna regroup it as ten ones over here in the ones column. Three, four, five. And then I'm just going to split up all these ones three ways. So one, two, three. Check them off. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Check them off. And then looks like one, two, three. No remainder. And what do we have? We have one ten. And four ones. One ten and four ones, which is the same as saying 14, right? But let's look at the standard algorithm. Four is split up three ways one time, or four tens. Three times one is four, three. 4 minus 3 is 1. Carry the, drop the 2 down here. How many ways were, did we split up? Or how many times were we able to split up 12 three ways? Well, that was 4 times, right? 4 times 3 is 12. 0. No remainder. Check your work. 14 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 1 is 4. 42. Bam! Bam! Oof, now we got a big old number here. Eight tens, four ones divided by three. So we're gonna look at this number. We're gonna do our place value chart, tens. 
ones. And we're splitting this up three ways again. One, two, three. How many tens do we have? Oop. We have eight tens. So I need to have eight discs down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have four ones. One, two, three. Four. All right, so now I need to split up my eight tens three ways. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I cannot split that up any further. I cannot divide it three ways now. I'm done. But I'm left with two tens. So what do I need to do with those two tens? Well, I need to go bam over here and make ten ones. Remember, one, two, three, four, five. Oop, I, like, I like doing it this way. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I regroup one ten as ten ones. I'm going to do the same with this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we were able to evenly, well, not evenly, we were able to put six tens, but we had two tens left over. So we rebundled or regrouped those two tens as 21s. And now we're going to divide the 24 ones we have left over here three ways. So let's get ready to go with that. Jeez. One, two, three. 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 Here, we're still going. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Bam. All right. So we were able to divide the ones up evenly. We're left with two tens and eight ones. Two tens, eight ones, which is the same as saying what? 28, right? But let's look at our standard division algorithm to really make sure we got the right answer. Oops. So 84 divided by 3. Well, we said eight tens. We'll split up with two tens here. 3 times 2 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. Drop the 4 down here. 3 goes into 24. 8 times, or 8 ones, or 2 tens and 8 ones. 8 times 3 is 24. 0. Our quotient is 28. And as always, check your work. 28 times 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. Bam! Bam! So, guys, tomorrow we're going to start using the traditional algorithm. However, I wanted you to see kind of how we use the place value chart to break up the tens and the ones. Just, um, just as a way for you to have a little more of a foundation in it. Okay? So, please, please, please watch this lesson and then complete the work attached.